Libra. Welcome to your November 2015 Room Scope. With me, my name is Amanda. Just a couple of things I wanted to uh, let you know about. Um, I will be appearing on an internet radio show. Uh, it's called Solar Temple Radio, and that is on Blog Talk. Um, and I will be on there November 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, it will be posted after that, though. So if you don't, if you're not able to listen to the live broadcast, it will be there. I will include the link below the video in the details section. Just tap the arrow beneath this video that opens the details section and has all the links, how to get in touch with me, all of that stuff. But I'll also try to include a link to um, Solar Temple Radio in the video here. Uh, probably a little I or info button, just tap that and it should take you over there. I'm just gonna be talking about the runes, um, their uses in divination and magic, a little background on them. Um, so if you're interested in that, stop by and check me out. Uh, listen to that. And also wanted to remind you guys, I will be offering one more online rune class uh, for 2015 and it's going to start November 2nd and run through December 7th. There's still time to sign up for that if you're watching at the end of October. So I just wanted to remind you guys, um, just sign up by 12 p.m. October 29th. And to do that, just drop me a line at my email address. Again, it's in the video or below the video in the details section and I can get you signed up for that. But without further ado, let's jump in Libra to November. And see what the runes want to tell you about the month. As always, I do want to remind you these are general readings. They're not private readings. Uh, what that means is not all of these messages will apply to you. Some of them will be for the other Libras watching. You can also check out the video for your rising sign that will contain some additional information, additional messages for you about the month of November. If you would like a reading that is only about you and only contains messages for you, then you can schedule an appointment with me. I do those on Skype and they are $65 for 30 minutes. Just drop me a line at my email address, runescopes 4 you at gmail.com. That's the number four and the letter U, and we can uh, get you scheduled. Um, and if you're wanting like a 2016 overview, I encourage you to sign up for that or get in touch with me this month or next month, because January I tend to book up really quickly uh, with everybody wanting New Year's readings. So um, I would get in touch with me now if you can, and we'll get you uh, scheduled and go ahead and, and you can beat the rush. Um, also wanted to mention I will have gift certificates available for the holiday season if you would like to give the gift of a reading to a friend or family member. Um, but let's see what we've got going on here, Libra. Your focus. Let's start with that position. And I am going to be using the Witch's Tarot, just to let you guys know what deck I'm using, by Ellen Cannon Reed and Martin Cannon. But for your focus for the month of November, we've got the uh, the Three of Rods. So you are either thinking of launching something or accepting an opportunity, heading off in a new direction. Um, or it could be you did that in October and you're waiting for the results to come back or you're waiting for your, your ships to come in, so to speak. Um, it'll be different, again, that's how these messages work. It'll be different depending on which Libra you are. Um, now, some of you may have um, kind of outed a secret of someone else's. <laughs> that could be maybe you maybe you found out that someone was uh, you know had a skeleton in the closet or was deceiving you, and you called them on it, and. Um, and now those ships are coming back in. For most of you, this will be a masculine energy, so this could be, and we do have the Two of Cups coming up in reverse. So for many of you, maybe this is an ex-partner or a soon-to-be ex-partner, ex-boyfriend. Um, you've caught someone with their hand in the cookie jar, so to speak. It does not have to be a romantic relationship. This could be a friend or a coworker, somebody that was just doing something sketchy or uh, you know, lying or attempting to uh, deceive someone. So as November starts, you may have like sent this person an email or a text saying, hey, I know what you did. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> I know, you know, I know, uh, I know what you've been up to. And um, now you're waiting to, for their response or, or you may do that at some point um, in November. And you should do this, Libra. 
you should be like, hey, you know, this may have worked on other people, but it's not, uh, it's not going to work on, on this guy or gal. Um, you're not going to pull a fast one on me. Now, um, some of you may be traveling in uh, November and, you know, it may just require a lot of energy for you to kind of get up the gumption to do that. And maybe so for in North America or in the in the States anyway, uh, we have Thanksgiving in November. So maybe some of you are traveling for that. Others of you may just be taking a vacation. Um, yeah, or, or um, moving on from something. Uh, Rido does not have to be uh, an actual like movement. It's a shift or a change, but it can also just be I'm moving on from this situation or this person or this relationship. Because in the help position, you have the two of cups, as I pointed out, in reverse. So this can this can be a disunion or a divorce or a leaving a relationship behind. And I feel like for many of you, though, you're going to be happy and relieved to do this. Because who likes to be with someone who's deceitful? Um, or you're leaving a friendship behind, or you're leaving, you know, you know, a, a family member. You're not going to have anything to do with them anymore, or you're going to limit your association because they're 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 just bad news in some way. Um, and, you know, I feel like for most of you, I mean, you know, these energies can always work both ways. So it could be that someone's telling you that you've been deceitful and lying or, or whatever. But for most of you, I feel like this is you. You've caught someone out because really the rest of the rest of the spread looks pretty good here. Um, but yeah, th this could have something to do with a breakup. But actually, if that's the case, this is the best possible thing for you because, um, Okay, this is going to be a very specific message for someone out there. Maybe this person had uh, kind of isolated you from your family and friends, and you haven't been able to communicate with your with your 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 tribe, or be with them, or spend time with them because you were kind of isolated from them by this person who was possessive or abusive, um, or kind of a bully. Um, and now that you're moving past that and you're free of that, you're able to go be with your family, go spend time with your family. So, um, and maybe that's what the travel is. Maybe some of you are like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go home for Thanksgiving for the first time, you know, in, in a while, because I was with this person who was a real, you know, jerk <laughs> and saw any relationships outside of ours as a threat, which is, um, not cool. Um, number one sign of an abuser, they isolate you. Um, possessive jealousy is toxic to any relationship. So anybody who, especially if they're jealous of family members, that's weird. That's weird. So Libra, I mean, if you're getting out of a situation like that, which is the vibe I'm picking up from some of this, good for you. Run. I wish you would have ran earlier, but it's good you're running now. <laughs> that's what I love about this two of cups card though is that uh, she's got the cups. I'm gonna turn it up right so you can see. She's got the cups and she's up here running, <laughs> running uh, across the mountain and he's still climbing. It kind of reminds me of The Princess Bride, that movie when uh, Wesley's scaling the mountain. It's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> but anyway, um, a little untraditional for the Two of Cups, uh, you know, but... Um, so yeah, in this, you are, you know, instead of like kind of playing and waiting for him to catch you and pursue you, you're like, oh my God, I'm out of here. Um, but anyone who has left your life, Libra, uh, you know, I, I feel like this maybe has occurred previously. And in November, you're just like, thank God that is done. Thank God I have, you know, my life back. Because you've got the, the rune of joy and you're going to find joy in family, in nostalgia, in the past, in being with people from your past, being with people, renewing connections from the past. Um, that's really how you are going to get a positive uh, attitude back. And, uh, so yeah, any relationships that are ending, whether they are romantic or not, it's a good thing because, um, it's, it was blocking you in some way, or you were with someone who did not have your best interests at heart. And, um, you know, that's not a good place for anyone to be. There's a, there's a new day dawning, but this may all be draining. And I think that's why this strength card is coming up. You know, you've, uh, it's been draining and taxing on you. So, um, you know, but it's really going to be worth it if you can go and see people and, and just kind of hang out 
with family or friends in November to kind of rejuvenate yourself and uh, get your mojo back. Now, what can't be changed um, in this position as far as the tarot card? You have temperance. So, I mean, patience is necessary in November, but it, it's not patience so much with people. It might be for some of you, but I feel like for most of you, it's patience with a situation turning around or 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 with the, the the new beginning and you know because when we come out of a situation where you know it has been difficult or it has been you know we we feel like somebody's taken us for a bit of a ride or lied to us or deceived us we can feel um you know okay i just want to get out of this as quickly as possible and get onto something new so i can take my mind off of things but November is kind of a month because, especially in the in the states where there is a holiday, and November and December are particularly they're slower months generally because people are out of the office, they're on vacation uh, for the holidays, and you may be like, oh, I just want to get into 2016. I just want 2015 to be over. It was a really bad year, and I'm ready to start fresh. And um, but that's okay. Uh, enjoy the moment. If if you. Uh, you know, if you're sitting there thinking the whole time, I just want 2015 to be over, you could miss some opportunities to still get some good times in because these runes are saying that, you know, you know, get out there, get getting out there, being with friends, being with family is what is going to revitalize you. It's probably just the getting there. I don't know about you, but for me, it's it, it, when I am tired or uh, feeling particularly drained, it's kind of the getting ready to go somewhere. It's like once you get there, you know, normally you're like, oh, I'm really glad that I did this because I'm having a really great time and I'm seeing people maybe I haven't seen in a long time. It's just the getting ready and the getting there, especially if there's travel involved, but it will be worth it, Libra, uh, in November. I, I do feel like you need to be around your tribe, your people, whether that's family, whether that's friends, a tribe you've created on your own, whatever you need to do, um, because it is, you're, you're gonna be able to, uh, you know, get strength and rejuvenation from them. And uh, there's a lot of luck around you in uh, groups, being, you know, or by being around people. And uh, don't let one negative experience or this particular ne negative experience get you, get you down and kind of, um, you know, ruin the whole month or color the whole month because you don't need to do that. Uh, now, by the end of November, um, I, you know, I think there will be a period where you're just feeling, you know, maybe after all the travel is done or after you've been kind of social, maybe forced yourself to be social, you may need a break. You have the Empress card coming up in reverse. So you may be kind of, and you may be feeling vulnerable. It may come, you may, you may be thinking about, wow, this person took advantage of me. But what you're going to be thinking about is how can I prevent this from happening again? Um, you know, is this a pattern? Is this something that has happened to me repeatedly? Um, or, you know, Libra, some, is this something you're doing to other people? Is this, you know, because this could be you. Again, uh, in these general readings, the energies can work both ways. So you may be thinking, you know, am I, do I do that? Do I use people? Do I take advantage of them? And if I do, how do I stop it? Um, do I lie to people? Do I cheat on people? Um, if I do, how can I stop that? Um, so, but I think for most of you, I, it, it was you that w was the uh, the wronged party. And so at the end of the month, you may just be like trying to figure out, okay, now how do I move past this and, you know, start a new chapter? Or um, how do I not repeat this pattern? Can this be fixed? Some of you may be trying to patch things up with this person, but with the two of cups in reverse that coming up as your help, you know, I, I feel like it, for most of you, and again, this is a situation where you'd want to watch your rising sign or get a personal reading because it seems like for most of you, this would just be a pattern that would repeat. If somebody's lied to you or cheated on you, they're more than likely going to do it again. If it's you that does this, you're more than likely going to do it again. And that's not doing yourself any favors if you're going around treating people like that. So um, again, it, it's, a, it's a situation where um, breaking the pattern is going to be the key. 
uh, to new starts. But, you know, I do feel like there's a lot of communication going on, some travel and some, uh, actually a lot of happy moments because you have Wunyo here. So you are going to be having fun um, with people in your life. So, um, you know, really, really uh, sap some energy out of that situation. <laughs> I'm not telling you to be an energy vampire. I actually do not like those people, but you know what I mean? When you're around people and you get, there's good food and there's good wine and everybody's laughing and, and chatting, um, it's a good, it's a good feeling, uh, to it's, a, you know, especially with family or, or friends, um, uh, people that get you. So enjoy those moments. Don't, uh, you know, don't get so down in the dumps that you shut everyone out. That would not be the way to handle this energy. So good luck with November Libra, and I will see you back here in December.